University of the People is the first ever non-profit, tuition-free online university dedicated to bring democracy to higher education. We are designed for students who cannot afford higher education, either for financial reasons, education is expensive in most parts of the world, either for availability, there are a lot of places in the world that there aren't enough universities. Students take High, take placement exam, either they're in or they're out. If they're out, it doesn't mean that they're not qualified for higher education, it just means that there is no room for them. There are a lot of students who are deprived from, from higher education for cultural reasons. Women in some countries in Africa is a good example. And there are a lot of students who cannot attend higher education because of personal reasons. And one example would be students in a village who get accepted to a university, but in order to attend it, they need to relocate from the village to the big city where the university is located. Their families cannot afford to lose them. They need them in the village to help them work. They give up. They lose their future. No higher education, no hope, no chance for a bright future. For all these people, we use the internet in order to bring the education to wherever they are, tuition free. In order to be tuition free, we use everything that is available for free on the internet. So we use open source technology, technology that is there for everyone to use for free. Open source, um, open educational resources, content that professors produce and put on the net for everyone to use, and the new internet culture of social networking where people share, teach and learn from each other for free. We put all of it together and created tuition-free university. We have a very lean operation, so we use everything that is free. Also, we use a lot of volunteers. We based on volunteers. We have 3,000, almost 3,000 volunteering professors who jumped on board to help our students. So between the free material on the net and the volunteers and the peer-to-peer uh, -peer learning that we use, and the very lean operation that we have all over the world, we are able to be tuition free. We are tuition free, but we are not free. We ask our students, every time they take an exam by the end of each course, that exam cost us $100. And we hope that they would be able to cover this cost. If they cannot, we created for them financial tools to help them pay. So we created a um, dedicated scholarship for students from certain like the one that HP created for women so women can come online and apply for a women's scholarship. Uh, we created, my, we are creating actually these days a micro scholarship portal where our students can come online, present their case and ask for our supporters to help them in micro donations from $25 to $50 to help them for the minimum amount that they need to cover the cost if they don't have it. And obviously we have our own scholarship fund. So the idea is that while we ask our students to pay for the exam fees, still nobody would be excluded for financial reasons. I think that it is important to notice that we have open gates policy. The idea open door policy to open the gates to everyone who has high school diploma and knows English. At the same time, we want to make sure that those who graduate with, I, with us are with high quality. So we give everyone a chance to be with us and to get academic education. Only those who are qualified and have the credentials and, and, and can go on and, and uh, meet our standards can graduate. Well, I think that the first thing is that we believe that uh, education is a basic right. And every person deserves the right for education. We also believe that the kind of education that, that we deliver is the education that will help people find a job. The very reason that we chose business administration and computer science is because, and that's the only two degrees that we, that we offer right now, is because these are the, more, the likeliest program to help people find a job. If they have the right education, the more people that will have the edu education, the better the countries will be. And they will drive the countries. Some of them will find jobs in the existing um, organizations. 
Some of them will work in international organizations, but some of them will start their own business. So I believe that the, be, having educated people will have a great leap for countries rather than have people um, unemployed. I think that if you look at, at, at uh, some countries, and I think that Egypt is, is, is the most famous example where the, the, there are millions of higher education graduates that can't find a job. But the reason is, not because they're graduate of higher education, but they didn't get the right education. And the education that they got didn't prepare them for the 21st century. So they're stuck with a degree that can't help them to pursue a better life. I, think, I hope that what we're doing is not, is not following these steps, but preparing people for the 21st century. And I believe that the more the, ed the world will be educated, um, the better world we will have. Now, I think, and, and I think that I should mention another thing. When students study with us, we put, every time the students study with us, and, and they, if they study toward the BA, it's 40 courses. 40 times, every time they take a course, they meet 25 students, from 25 different countries. By the time they graduate, they met people from all over the world. So beyond the education that they get, they're also being open to the rest of the world. They become be better city part being citizens of the world and better citizens of the world. And I believe that by educating people and exposing them to different cultures, different countries, different people, different way of thoughts, you, have a be you, you educate better people and I believe that you make, make the world a better place to live and I also believe that you make peace a bit closer because if you think about what happened when you put students from hostile countries, Israel and Palestine, a Greek and Turkey, um, India and Pakistan, and you put them together, they learn to understand each other. They learn to respect each other, to become friends. So I believe that educating people can do only good. It's the best way to change the world. It's the best way to help people. Well, UNESCO stated that uh, in 2025 close to 100 million students would be deprived from higher education. We're building a model to show how these 100 million students can be served. And it is our, our goal to build a model either for universities to tell them, look at what we're doing. You can do the same. You can add zero to your numbers. Instead of teaching 10,000 students, you can teach 100,000 students. You can do it. We do it, you can do it. We can show you how to do it if you want us to do so. But even more so to governments, developing country governments. Right now, they spend a few millions that they have to build the best institutions. So they believe that if they invest a few millions, they will have their own Harvard, Oxford, Sorbonne, but you don't build these institutions with a few millions and no in a few years, but the money is gone. And what we tell them, look at what we do. With the same amount of money, you can educate every single person in your country. So we're building a model and our sustainability and our success will show them that it is feasible. So we are there to serve as many people as the world needs. So right now we are 1,500 students and we will grow and we will grow in fin as much as needed to serve as many people as the world will need us to serve. If other institutions will do the same and they will serve the same mar market, even better, we have done our job. So if we show the world that the model works and others adapt our model, that's even better. As long as all the people in the world who want education will get it, we have done our job.